A cordial greeting. Today is Saturday, July 12, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In this video I will be talking about a low-pressure system that is developing just to the east and northeast of Florida, and that will be moving west, southwest over the next few days. And once it reaches the waters of the northern Gulf of Mexico, it may encounter marginally favorable conditions for some cyclonic development. In addition, this disturbance will be bringing quite a lot of rain across Florida, especially for sectors of the center and south of the state. And before talking about this possible development, I wanted to mention that we have two strong tropical waves located between the Caribbean and Africa. And although both have good rotation and are accompanied by a low pressure system, conditions in the tropical Atlantic at the moment are not favorable for cyclonic development. However, it is quite impressive to have two such strong tropical waves in the tropical Atlantic so early in the hurricane season. Let's zoom in on the southeastern United States, where we can see that there are some remnants of a frontal system in the southwest Atlantic. In particular, we are seeing a zone of bad weather that has developed to the east of Georgia and southeast of South Carolina. It is in this area where a low pressure is expected to develop as it moves into the waters of the Gulf of Mexico. It is important to mention that at the time of recording this video, the National Hurricane Center has not marked the area as a region with chances for cyclonic development. But it is possible that during the weekend this area will be marked with low probabilities of development. One of the main factors why we need to pay attention to any area of bad weather that develops towards the southeast United States is that the surface ocean temperatures, whether in the Gulf Stream and particularly in the northeast Gulf of Mexico, are very warm. Currently, the Gulf Stream has temperatures near 84 degrees Fahrenheit, while the area south of Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and the Florida Panhandle has temperatures between 86 to 88 degrees Fahrenheit. This means that the waters are very warm in these areas and any low pressure system that develops in the area could have favorable conditions for development. And if we look at the next image, you can see that these two areas have surface ocean temperatures that are between 2 to 4 degrees Fahrenheit above normal. Furthermore, this is the area that was marked by the Climate Prediction Center, where this week they marked the zone with over a 20% chance of cyclonic development between July 16th and 22nd. So it makes sense that we are paying attention to any disturbance that moves through this area. Let's see what the global models show. Let's start with the American model. You can see that during the afternoon hours on Monday it develops a weak low pressure to the east of Florida, and by midweek it moves this low pressure system into the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, where the low pressure strengthens a bit before reaching Louisiana, Mississippi, or Alabama between Thursday and Friday of next week. It should be mentioned that for now the American model does not develop a tropical cyclone, but it does have a strong low pressure in this area. We also have the latest run of the German model, which also develops a low pressure during the night hours of Monday to the east of Florida, and with a trajectory towards the west-southwest until eventually moving over the waters of the northern Gulf of Mexico, and eventually perhaps developing a tropical depression or tropical storm south of Louisiana in the afternoon hours of Friday. And also the UK model has low pressures through this area, perhaps a tropical depression developing near southeast Louisiana between Thursday and Friday of next week. So at least we are talking about any development that happens in this area will be in approximately 6 to 7 days. And this is why I think that soon the National Hurricane Center will mark this area with low probabilities of development over the next 7 days. We also have some members of the American model that show low pressures developing in this area, although for now they keep it quite weak, perhaps developing a tropical depression, but really the probability of development, according to the American model members, remains quite low at the moment. If we look at the European model members, some of them also have a defined low pressure for the end of next week, but for now they also do not see significant development of a tropical cyclone. And the members of Google's artificial intelligence model, from Wednesday some of them develop a low pressure west of Florida and during the end of next week keep that movement towards the west-northwest until eventually moving toward the south of Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, and some of them perhaps develop a tropical depression, regardless of whether or not we have cyclonic development in the Gulf of Mexico. Quite a rainy few days are expected for Florida, particularly for the southern half of the state, where the models forecast that between 3 to 6 inches could fall over the next 5 to 7 days. For sectors of the Florida Panhandle and the north of the state, between 2 to 4 inches are anticipated, and as the low pressure moves toward the states of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama, they could receive some rain between 2 to 3 inches. However, these rains would affect this area starting next weekend. So caution for residents of southern Florida regarding the potential for some localized flooding. And here at Hurricane Info, I will continue to closely monitor the evolution of the low pressure that we anticipate will develop to the east of Florida, and we will be monitoring it as it moves over sectors of the Gulf of Mexico, where surface ocean temperatures are quite warm. Well, with this I say goodbye for now. But before I go I wanted to invite you to like this video. Also, 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. So until next time.